What's going on guys? Welcome back. Will Blandon. A LLC or a corporation can help you get grants, loans, and funding just by setting it up. Just by setting, simply setting up your entity, you actually have the ability to go after some of these grants and loans because I think it's gonna slow down next year. This is just my prediction. I don't know. I'm not like one of those people that, you know, is gonna sit there and say I'm definitely right. But this is just my opinion. I think it's gonna slow down in 2023 as far as them giving out money so freely. Lines of credit and loans. Probably about the middle of next year, 2023, I think they're going to slow down. So what that means is it's time to set up your business now. I would wait here, just, just me personally, we're going into November. I would wait until January to set up your actual entity. Um, but you should already have start building the fundamentals of everything else around your corporation, meaning you should get the domain first, the name you want, before you even set up your entity. You should get like a um, a real business address. You should start building your website. These are all things you're gonna need later, so you might as well get that together. And then when uh, 2023 comes around in, in January, that's when I would physically get the LLC or corporation set up. But there's a lot of components you could get started before that. Meaning you could actually start a side hustle now and not incorporate until 2023. All I'm saying is get going, get started because, and I wonder why I say wait till January, is because you don't wanna start in December and then actually have to file taxes, you know, the following few months. So I would just start in January, then wait, obviously, till that you have the whole year where you could actually wait and file taxes and get that stuff going. Um, I made that mistake and try to get things going in the middle of the year, or towards the end of the year. I always got this buzz towards the end of the year to start a new business. I don't know what it is. Um, probably because Christmas is coming around. But yeah, you, you guys got to really hurry up and get your business started and it's gonna it's gonna pay off even if you're not making any money <coughs> especially if you have at least a 680 if you have a 680 credit score and you set all this stuff up by january literally you might get offered a line of credit right at your bank if you have a minimum 680 and you go to your bank and you'd be like yeah i want to they're gonna ask you do you want to uh, take out a loan or a credit line? At that point, you could decide if you want to do that. Boom, you have instant funding to help your business along. And I would only use that if absolutely necessary. If you get a credit line, I would only use that credit line if it's absolutely necessary. I would try to get something going like a service business uh, affiliate marketing business, anything you could do where you could start making money now. Guys, you could start an affiliate marketing company right now in your own name, start making some money. Then when January rolls around, you already got your domain, you already got your website, you already got your business address, boom, all you gotta do is get your tax ID, you know, and a few other things, and you know, your phone number, you wanna have that ready. Boom, you're off to the races, you go in the bank, I always recommend at least one anchor bank, but you're gonna find that a lot of FinTech banks make it really easy to open a bank account and get started right away. If you guys want more tips, strategies about what business you should start, I got a lot of videos on that. Please, subscribe, like, comment, and I'm gonna try to give you guys more business ideas um, in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna try to give you guys great business ideas and tips because 
I don't think just having a regular job is going to cut it going into 2023. That's just my opinion. Um, you got to have some type of side hustle or I don't care what you're selling. I don't care if you're going in the Craigslist section of the free section of Craigslist and going to pick up furniture and reselling it. That's still a side hustle that could turn into a real business. Again, more tips and strategies. If you want to get a strategy session with me and get me on the phone, the information should be listed below this video. And I want to thank you guys for your continued support. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Thank you.